A new camp for teenagers is making history in our city. Camp Firefly, the first of its kind in Canada, is geared toward gays and lesbians. Serena Ma explains. So meeting open-minded people regardless of sexuality or gender. It's how Beth Padfield would like the world to be. The 21-year-old is taking part in one of many workshops at Camp Firefly. We want to be comfortable in family. We want to be comfortable in school. We want to be comfortable at work. Instructors share experiences and help others come to terms you know, with being in a sexual a minority. Ways, now this first of its kind camp is creating a safe to environment to, to be different. Here you can just be who you are. You can say, I have a girlfriend. As a girl, I can say this, um, and that's fine. Or you can say, I may look like a girl to you, but I'm actually a boy, and that's OK. All my neighbors know I'm gay. I'm not hiding who I am anymore for anybody. Students are encouraged to write down their feelings, express positive and negative feelings about their sexuality. Thoughts and mantras on display for everyone to see and live by. If you take a look at the graffiti wall, most of the messages deal with identity and being comfortable, two of the main goals of Camp Firefly. But many here agree more work needs to be done. Youth, regardless of how accepting our culture continues to become, um, are still discriminated against in the school system. And there needs to be a sort of, how do you do this? How do you make people more accepting? And such challenges are apparent as organizers asked us to keep the location of this getaway a secret. Our number one priority is to make sure that the youth feel safe and comfortable, that they can know that they're coming to camp uh, as a place where they can be themselves fully without threats of repercussion. But despite struggles, this weekend for Bath is about having fun and being herself. We're given the unique opportunity this weekend to be the sexual majority, which I think is hugely empowering for people. Serena Moss, CFRN News.